Hey now, it's Philippi e. Hardy with Screenwriters Talking Shop. And today I want to talk about something that's been very helpful to me, which is using a grammar program within Final Draft. I've embedded Grammarly into FD12. Final Draft 12, which I find to be a very powerful tool, both Final Draft 12, which uh, to me is the industry standard, and Grammarly, which costs me about 130 bucks a year to use for the premium program, but is worth every penny as far as I'm concerned because it has helped me up my game. Now, the first thing that you need to do to use Grammarly within Final Draft is do the Grammarly for Chrome. Once you put their extension into Google Chrome, it automatically pops an icon into uh, Final Draft, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but first, I want to show you within Grammarly itself, um, you have the customization page, which allows you to check off the things that you want Grammarly to do for you. And there's a whole long list of things. For example, uh, adhere to APA and MLA style. Um, APA is American Psychological Association, I believe, and I had to use that style for all my papers when I went back to school for my undergraduate and then subsequently my graduate degrees. And then there's other things. Rewrite sentences for clarity, sound more confident, uh, avoid starting sentences with conjunctions in academic writing, use consistent style of abbreviation, use consistent capitalization, use consistent format for dates, hyphens, um, spacing, uh, spelling, and on and on. There's a whole litany of things that you can do here within Grammarly, which then you can use in your final draft. So let me get into FD. And if you look here, um, in fact, it's tallying up right now. There's the little icon. That is Grammarly right now calculating how many mistakes I have in this older screenplay. And so what happens is I can then go in and I hit the icon. Sometimes right now I'm having some, some problems with this, but I hit the icon and then it takes me to this thing and it says, Joe is hit by three slugs. I use the terms. And they want me to change it to three slugs hit Joe, okay? So let's see how that goes. And bada bing, do the click, and there you go, there you have it. So I only have 384 more things that Grammarly really wants me to look at. But the beauty of this tool is you can do it so quickly. Here's an and where they want me to probably put a comma. Um, so let's accept that. Yep, I put a comma after window, and now that sentence has been corrected. Um, let's keep on going with this puppy dog. Joe walks. Jenny walks into the waiting room, so what do they want me to do there? They want me to just say, Jenny enters, instead of saying walks into, I use one word instead of two words. Bada bing. Okay? So I think you get the idea here how this is going to go. We'll do one more. Captain Jacob Ridley, a tall thin man in a dark suit, gets up to hug Jenny. They want me to add a comma. And so I've just done that. So that is how the Grammarly program works. They give you the little prompts down here. You, they'll talk about your style. Um, you know, again, all the things, that, the options that I showed you, and you have the, you're in command. You decide what you want to fix. So that is a really powerful tool, and it has certainly helped me um, up my game. Let's do one more here for the Gipper. It's our two-year anniversary. They wanted me to change that. Uh, they didn't tell me what they wanted me to change it to, but probably sec second anniversary. Yeah, now it says it's our second anniversary. So you get the picture. That's how it works. This has helped me uh, up my game as far as I'm concerned. Plus, I can work faster. And my estimate to do uh, the balance of the corrections would be it's probably going to take me about 90 minutes. So that's how it works. I hope this is helpful to you. This is Philip E. Hardy with Screenwriters Talking Shop.